Hey, Will. How you doing? Great. Better than great. Magnificent. Well enough that I'm tempted to add cuss words for emphasis. You found something. I damn well did indeed. I found a special spell of protection that should give the Master a big old eviction notice. Get him out of Angel's body and keep him from going back in. Yay me! Now all you have to do is find the Master's new hideout. Let it be known that Willow was not the only one who was useful. Let me guess. You painted your nails, went out for pizza, and pumped up your own tire this time. Actually, Cordelia was quite helpful. Thank you, Giles. See? Quite helpful. Looks like I'm doing all the hard work around here tonight. I helped Giles research those funky tattoos on the two vamps, that snake shapeshifter and the other one. Looks like there's some kind of magical thingy that allows a vampire to get down with its inner animal aspect. Whatever that's supposed to mean. And what is up with the vampires and the whole leather look anyway? It's like they've seen too many movies and bought into their own hype. Gotta have the look, the attitude, and suddenly thinking the world of darkness a lot like Hollywood. Take this, Buffy. These new techniques will better prepare you for the dangers that lie ahead. I'm all about technique, but couldn't we put the dangers behind us at some point? So, one down, two to go? Without the combined power of the three dreamers, the Master should be unable to execute his plans. Well, that's very cool. If it wasn't for the whole angel being possessed thing, I'd say it even called for a celebration with ice cream. To be absolutely certain the Master's purpose has been averted, we must track down the remaining dreamers and destroy them. And find a way to exorcise the Master's ghost from Angel. Yes, of course. And then the ice cream. If you insist. Now look, you'll have to track a member of the Order of Aurelius back to whatever location they've chosen as their new lair. I, for one, deserve an ice cream type reward. I was pretty impressive out there, if I do say so myself. And you do. Working that crane, fighting vamps, falling unconscious. I was a sight to behold. So Buffy, what's next? More crane operation? Some Slayer patrol duty, perhaps? Blind? Do I look all right? She's fine. Trust me. Sit tight, Giles. I'm going to head out and beat the brush a little, see what scurries out. Have a care, Buffy. The Master may be attempting to lure you into a trap. Again? That trick never works. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Besides, there are other students in the building, and they'll need someone looking out for them. Good luck. You deal with the vamp problem while I make a pit stop at the nurse's office. I think Trauma Girl here is going to need some help from the medicine cabinet. Sounds like a plan. Trauma Girl? Whoa! Uh, Xander! You could at least have the decency to keep the room from spinning. Buffy, I know I don't have to tell you, but I have to tell you. If you run into Angel, don't forget he's not himself these days. Master in the house. You're right. You didn't have to tell me. But, thanks. If I have to beat the crap out of him, I'll work up some master imagery in my head. Still got some anger from that time he killed me. <laughs> <laughs> 